Hello my beautiful, it's Tawana Michelle here, Live Beautifully Natural, and I do videos on beauty, handbags, and lifestyle, and today I have a handbag video, another coach unboxing, y'all. Um, I think this might be the first coach purchase and unboxing of the new year. Oh, I have been trying to cut back on buying handbags. It is really hard to do so because I love them, but also... Um, when you see a good sale, you can't pass it up. Um, so I'll show y'all what I got here. This bag was on sale. This bag is almost always on sale. It's not a new bag. Um, you'll see what it is, but it's one that is almost always on sale. And then I noticed around the holidays when coach was putting this is from the coach outlet, when the coach outlet and the coach retail store actually were putting other bags on sale then some of the bags that were previously on sale those went back up to regular price so um i have been wanting this bag for a while now um because i am a tote girl and so i decided you know what i need to go ahead and get this bag i have a lot of totes so i was really on the fence about whether or not i was going to get it it wasn't a need issue which when is it ever a need issue y'all with these bags because you know we just we love them but anyway, I'm going to uh, try to open up this box. So I got the box open. And as you can see, she is huge. So let's open her. Man, the Coach Outlet sure does pack these things well. Because they don't make it easy to get to. But, but I did go ahead and get the Coach City Tote in the black and brown uh, signature print. This is my favorite Coach print, but I do not have a, but I do not have a black and brown signature print tote. In fact, I only have one Coach tote. I have the gallery city tote i think is what it's called in the khaki and brown and i have um a rowan in this color and i kept saying oh i want to get this tote in this color y'all i kept saying i wanted to get it so bad but then I, I never got it um but every time i would see someone with it on youtube or see someone with it in real life i'm like i gotta have that tote it's just something about this signature uh color pattern with this gold hardware that is absolutely gorgeous another reason i wanted the cd tote is because i do love my gallery uh did i say gallery city tote gallery tote i think is what it's called i do love my gallery tote but um it's a i, I feel like it's more structured this is a lot more flexible um if any of you have watched my videos you know i like a flexible bag i just do so i'm gonna open it up and then see what it's looking like and i cannot wait to carry her she is really big um when i was looking at this bag and i was going to get it for myself around the holidays it was 179 um which is not the original price the original price of this bag is 3.98 although it's always cheaper than that but around the holidays this bag went up to like 179 but every time i saw this bag and thought about getting it the bag was 129 so i waited until the bag was 129 and i may have even gotten an extra 20 percent off i'm not sure no i didn't so that must have been something else <laughs> but i did um get this bag for 129 she's just absolutely gorgeous can't wait to carry it nothing new nothing special everyone has seen the city tote right but um she's special to me because i have been wanting her for a long time so I'm going to open it up and then kind of show y'all what it's looking like. For those of you who don't know, everybody does not have a city tote. So I can't assume that everybody does. So let me open it up and just show y'all what it's like. I can already tell you right off the bat, I don't like the strap. This is such a thin, flimsy strap. When I carry a tote, I carry a lot of stuff. It almost makes me concerned that this strap isn't going to hold up. So any of you watching this video, if you have a Coach City tote, let me know if these straps hold up. Let me know if this bag lasts. Um, the only reason that I could see it not really lasting that long for me is because, like I said, I do tend to overpack my totes. And, um, 
you know, I just, I need a, I need it to be durable, baby. I need, I need these uh, straps to be able to hold up all the stuff in my bag. So I'm just taking all the paper out from inside, which I'm going to restuff her and I'm going to store her stuffed. Oh, she's gorgeous. Just, just, just a black hole, which is what I love about a tote. Now I don't mind. I do mind a structured tote. I don't. I was going to say I don't mind a structured tote. I don't like a tote that's too structured. The gallery tote is not structured inside, but just the whatever it is, the, the material, whatever it's made with is a lot more sturdy and firm. This is real flexible and squishy and bendable. I like that. I know a lot of people don't like that. Maybe I'm weird for liking that, but I do. Um, so this is really giving everything that I needed it to give. So it has the little coach hang tag on here. And then inside you have your pocket. Oh, I need to check to see if there's a sensor inside because often there are sensors and I'll be going off in the store and it's just a black hole. I'm telling y'all, that's why I said nothing special about this bag, but I've just always loved her. Um, so there's this little thing, but no sensor in here as far as I can see. But, um, yeah, that's it. Can't wait to use it again. Not really sure about the straps. I wish they were a little uh, thicker. Oh, on the gallery toad, the straps are thicker and more durable. Um, I think the gallery toad in general just might be a more durable bag that might last longer. I'm not sure. Yeah, let me know if, if, if I'm so wrong about that. If you have both bags and if you're familiar with both bags, but I am definitely glad that I added this to my collection. Um, let me know if there are any other um, brown and black signature print bags that you think are really cute. Doesn't have to be a tote. Just let me know what else I need to pick up because I do want to um, expand my coach signature collection and I want more of this print. I have maybe three bags with the brown and khaki print and then I have only one other bag with this black and brown print which is weird because this is my favorite print. I just love it, y'all. So that's all I have. Um, let me know your thoughts about this bag in the comment section down below if you have it and if she's pretty durable and what you guys think about these straps. Um, like this video, share it out with other coaches, others who like to see handbag unboxings. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting on? I'd love to have you be a part of this community. And thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye.